Rick, listen, um, we often get a lot of email correspondence during sure. the show, Rick, uh, which I don't, I don't sort of pass on to you because I mean, you're busy, you're planning the show and stuff, sure, you've got sure, a lot of ideas, you've sure. got music and stuff to worry yeah. about. So I check the emails and we get a lot of response, a lot of people that obviously, uh, you know, want to give us feedback. Uh, just a sample one, um, from Richard Anderson. He's just uh, emailed us in here, Rick, because uh, he's been listening to the show. He says, Ricky, your show is appalling. Um, are you actually aware you're on the radio or has someone just secretly stuck a microphone on you? That's from Richard Anderson. So, <laughs> that's, the, that's typical of the kind of feedback Rick we're getting <laughs> really? today. So, is that um, good, is it? So that's, that's the kind of, yeah, high positive praise that we're getting. So, uh, I'm, 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 keep, I'm uh, glad uh, Anderson's listening because I wanted him. I yeah, was, no, I mean, I, I was gunning for him as a fan. I was worried that early, Anders, early uh, on in our career. So, uh, but, I, uh, think, I think he's hooked now, though. But thanks, uh, Anders, for <laughs> getting in touch. Um, Dick Anderson's been back in touch. Excellent. Um, so, I think so he's obviously. We've turned him round. Well, he loves it now. He's been he? tuning in. He, he says, loves um, it now. He says, Ricky, thanks for a really forgettable two hours of radio. I think I'll spend the time next week counting my feet. That's from Richard Anderson. So, uh, we've turned him round. We've no, do you know the phrase counting my feet comes from? Well, in the olden days, right, and I'm talking ages ago, when you really loved something, yeah. you used to, as a, as a sign of respect, like say a radio show, mm. you'd count your feet. Mm. And mm. that's where that comes from, Carl. Uh, I'll tell you, our number one fan has emailed again, I'm pleased to uh, announce. Who? Richard Anderson, Dickie Anderson, he was in touch Anders last week. Anders is back. Anders oh, he is back. loves this show. He's such a fan of the show. And this week he's emailed in, what actually is the point of your show? Is it to confuse, irritate, depress, or what? All of those things, Dickie. Thanks for uh, noticing. Oh, he loves this show. <laughs> he's such a fan. He's such a fan. He's, he's Because last week, you remember, Carl, he emailed in to say that he'd rather spend his time counting his feet than listen to this show. Presumably he's done that. Yeah. And he's well, just emailed in. Well, how many feet? Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but he's, he loves this he's show. Good, yeah. So, uh, thanks, uh, R.A. Thanks for listening. <laughs> See you later. Uh, what are you looking at? Well, I'm just looking at some of the emails, and uh, if I can find it, I've got an absolute treat from you. Go on. Dickie Anderson. Is he- Anders, uh, he's emailed in Richard again. Anderson, our yeah. biggest fan. Biggest fan. He said, uh, dear Ricky, sorry for not tuning in recently, only I've been busy watching a puddle evaporate. <laughs> Glad to hear you haven't tinkered with the show's winning formula by trying to introduce any quality into it. <laughs> That's from, uh, Richard Anderson. So, uh, good okay. to have Dickie Anderson listening again. Oh, Cause he's, uh, he just keeps us on our toes, you know. Yeah. And, uh, good work, Rich. Thanks for that. I wonder what he looks like. Dickie Anderson? Yeah. I think he's a good looking guy. For some reason I've always imagined him as being slightly older, with maybe a beard. Oh, no, you know I, what think, I, mean? like I think of, of him, I think of him sort of cords and now and sweater. Definitely cords. Gl I, I think he looks like, um, maybe the Proclaimers. Yeah, but right. again, with a beard or at least a moustache. Yeah. I don't know why I'm seeing some kind of facial and hair. And he's sort of like, he, he's sort of, uh, he likes the Cure and the Swiss Nap, but, uh, and, uh, he snarls at everything. He thinks everything's pure out. Yeah. I bet he yeah. prefers Radio 5. Do you think Radio 5? Yeah. 5, uh, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. And yeah. 4. I bet he's a real music snob as well. I bet it's like, there's certain bands, it's like rubbish. The Blazing Squad, rubbish. All pop music, rubbish. Britney Spears, rubbish. Is, is, is this defamation of character? Um, he slagged you off enough times, Rick, and the show. I don't know and if I'm only saying it's my opinion, exactly. I imagine, so, Yeah, uh, I mean, you we know. don't know, I mean, you know, you, you could be a lovely guy. I'm getting, to be honest, I'm getting to like him. What I like about Richard is he, he's willing to say what he thinks. Well, it's not, it's more than that. Oh, it's a bit like Eminem. No, it's, yeah, no, it's, it's more than that. He actually hits on the truth too often yeah. for my liking. Yeah, well that's... I mean, this is a shoddy show, with very, very little to offer. Is Anders listening? Is, uh, well, I'll tell you, Dickie Anderson. I've, got a, I've got an email from Richard Anderson, uh, Dickie Anderson. Go on. Uh, the Dick Machine, which- <laughs> <laughs> The Big Dick. The Big Dick, which- yeah. uh, Now, this is interesting. It's, I mean, I think we're wearing him down. Ricky, I think your show might be improving. Go on. That sense of despair and loneliness I normally feel when listening to your show doesn't seem so bad today. He's desensitized to it. Yeah, exactly. Always giving up. Always mm. just giving up. Yeah. 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 I mean, you listen to this long enough and your standards will drop. Um, but yeah, Dickie Anderson, he's a guy, he's, I'll be honest with you, he's not a big fan of the show. But Is he's, he I, well, we're getting to winning round. He says, uh, dear Ricky, the more disappointing your show becomes, the more I seem to look forward to it. <laughs> now I see your face plastered across London. Is your show some sort of curse put on me by an old gypsy woman I've annoyed? <laughs> You know, good point, Dicky. But um, <laughs> Dickers. Uh, but but Randers, as I call him. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he's, he, I hey, he can't listen now. I know what he's doing. Yeah. He's yeah. tucked him in. He's backing into the fire as we speak, <laughs> and he wants to, he wants to roast them until they spit. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Thanks for thanks for listening. Thanks Anders. for thanks it's, for uh, it, uh, it's a merry Christmas to you and happy New uh, Year. And as you know, you got a lot to look forward to because our first hour is always the best. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to be loving it till three, cockers. <laughs> oh dear. Last uh, message from Anders. I suspect oh, Anders. for the day. Uh, he says I've just roasted my chestnuts over an open fire. It's a lot more enjoyable than listening to your show. He's he, he's pretty it. snappy. He's Anders. Yeah, you know, he keeps yeah. them coming. You know. 
It's a shame that, um, you know, that we sort of couldn't sort of maybe meet up with him and try and persuade him that, you know, he should come over to our side rather than, you know, Come over to the side. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, come side, over to yeah. this side. I, I think we've got him though, because he- Do you think so? Yeah, apparently they did this survey in, uh, in, uh, America. People who loved Howard Stern listened to an average of, like, an hour and a half a week, and people who hated him listened two and a half hours a week. Yeah, exactly. So I think he's probably m more faithful a listener- <laughs> Yes. Than some of the people that quite like us. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah, You know what yeah. I mean? He's got to listen- it's a, I, I'm the same with some people, I've got to listen to things that I just think are awful, I, I can't- Mm. It, you mm. know, it's compulsive viewing. Mm. So, uh, mm. you know, I don't care if people listen to us because they hate us or like no, us. No, indeed, as long as I listen. Hey, so. I should just point out, because <laughs> it's Christmas time, we've had an email from Dickie Anderson. Whee! Oh, Dickers! Uh, yeah, R.A. is, uh, well, he's, 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 I suppose he's a long-time listener. Yeah. Um, and he emails us most, uh, most weeks. Uh, Ricky. If, as I suspect, I'm your only listener, I wouldn't bother with your show today as I've got to attend some family Christmas nonsense at Auntie Marion's house. <laughs> That's from Dickie Anderson and, uh, he's, he's good because considering he hates the show and, uh, everything we stand for, he does, he does take the time to email every week. That we counts, that him. counts to advertisers. Yeah. I think we've got a lot like him. Mm. Oasis, Supersonic. Still good. Still isn't as it? good as ever. Still good on XFM 104.9 with Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. You'll be pleased, Rick. Go on. Ricky Anderson has uh, emailed in. Dickers! Dickers! Danderson. Oh, yeah, what are you doing, uh, Dindo? He, he's, uh, he's probably our uh, biggest fan. Diddler, you little diddler! <laughs> exactly. He has emailed in as ever. Ricky, your show fascinates me. How do you maintain such levels of senseless drivel? <laughs> <laughs> That's from, uh, from Randers, from Randy Anders, Little as I call Little Diddle Divers! <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, uh, thanks again, uh, um, Dudley. Dudley. Yep. Yeah, well done. He's, uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, nice I get a buzz. I, I, I was disappointed last week where he didn't, what, what, ask him why he's, uh, didn't email Did, he didn't, us last- He didn't respond last week. No, it's a shame. Probably busy. Yeah. I don't believe he had something better to do. Well, I wouldn't have thought so. I can't believe that of anyone. No. <laughs> when, uh, <laughs> you've got Saturday this sort afternoon. of level. Exactly. Uh, intense chat. Um, you mentioned earlier when we had our, um, regular email from, uh, Dickie Anderson. Yeah. Randers, as I call him. Dandy son. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, you mentioned it because we didn't get anything from him last week. We didn't no. get uh, anything from him last week. Anyway, uh, he's obviously listening, um, <laughs> uh, Rich, because he's emailed in to explain, uh, his absence. Dear Ricky, sorry for not tuning in last week, only I was in, uh, HMV returning the 14 copies of The Office I got for Christmas. <laughs> That's, uh... That's from Rounders. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> he's, he's explained himself. Oh, he's dear. He's excused himself. Oh, Anders, we should get him on one day. Yeah. Can I just say before we play a record that, uh, we've had an email from Dickie Anderson. Dickers! <laughs> Richard oh, Anderson. Oh, Dickster, you Dicky Ducky Dido, how <laughs> are oh, yeah. If you're a new uh, listener, then you won't have uh, come across Richard before, but, but he loves he's, the our, show. he's our biggest fan. He's a bit of a, and he loves the show. He taped it and listens back to it four or five times. But he, the great thing about him is he's not afraid to offer a bit of constructive criticism. Oh, well! What's he said? What's he well, said? Well, uh, all I'm going to say to you is he said, um, is it true that companies are now getting rid of hold music <laughs> and are instead using your show to irritate their customers while they're waiting on the phone? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, we'll try and we'll look into that, Dickie, but thanks for that. <laughs> Before we, uh, carry on with anything, I should just tell you, we're, we're on the subject of emails. There's one emailer we're always looking forward to hearing from. Dickers! Richie Anderson! You, Dickie Dockie Doo! Richard Anderson, thanks for emailing. He's, and, uh, uh, he's my biggest fan He's now. one of the biggest he fans. He absolutely loves me. But, not afraid to offer some constructive criticism. Go on, That's the great said. thing about Dickie. And from Anders this week he says, Ricky, I'm lazy, I talk nonsense, I'm badly organised and I believe in ghosts. Can I have a job working on your show? <laughs> Um, <laughs> possibly, uh, Anders, maybe send in a CV, or email a CV. He's put a little bit of all of us in that, hasn't exactly. he? Oh, I'll ask him if he's a goggle-eyed freak, Steve. All right, calm down. Well, no, I didn't no, mean- There's no need to get insulted. No, I didn't necessarily no mean nasty. you, no did I? No need to get nasty. This is ludicrous, yeah. So, uh, obviously, Richard Anderson, he's, uh, he's emailed in his thoughts. Dickie Anders. Anders. Anders Randy you. Anders. You. <laughs> Dickster. <laughs> Dick Meister Dick General. Dick Meister General. And he says there's something making- have we got it clear? There's something- he says, there's something making strange yelping noises in the thicket at the end of my garden. Shall I go and prod it to see if it's calm? <laughs> Let me just yeah. tell you what, uh, what Dick has said. Uh, yeah. Yeah. he said, Richard Anderson, he also said, P.S. The show's still rubbish without Carl. <laughs> you see her, still right? rubbish, still rubbish without Carl. Now, is that a compliment? It's still rubbish without Carl. Which suggests he thought it might be better with- without Carl? No, I think he's, he means it's equally rubbish. Right. Yeah. Brilliant. Nothing Thanks. Changes. Thanks, Dickers. Yeah, he's Dick Meister. 
It's interesting. I mean, I, I don't think um, our number one fan, Dickie Anderson, Richard Anders, was uh, on the on the panel. Although he here has emailed in. He's Go got on, a couple of thoughts as to maybe why we. What win. is Dickers doing, man? Uh, Dickers says, "Commiserations on not winning a Sony. I can't believe you didn't win." Naturally. Oh. I mean, apart from your show's obvious lack of quality and effort, having a monkey for a producer, offering the biggest load of tat as competition prizes, <laughs> saying hairy Chinese kid 48 times every show, <laughs> rockbusters, not bothering to turn up for weeks on end, only having three listeners, introducing the comedy characters Camp David Har Harry Fook, which I think he spelt wrong there, yeah. Stephen Merchant, I'm not a character. <laughs> Apart from insulting every race, religion, and sexual orientation, bickering like schoolgirls, we and haven't done everyone misery. yet. We have not insulted everyone yet. With there's loads to go. Despite the fact you generally bring misery into the lives of anyone who listens, I thought you were surefire winners. Better luck next year. Well, I mean, a couple of constructive, you know, criticisms there, but generally, I no, still can't nail it. Was he on the panel? Well, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, he's a fan, so yeah. Well, no, he, he's clearly a fan. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he, lo he obviously loves the show. He's because he's. I mean, he has hit the nail on the head.